Hey everyone, how you doing? Uh, I'm going to be cutting Annie's hair today and I promised her I'm going to be cutting a, a small amount of your hair, is that alright? Yes. Yes? Okay, good. Um, now, this is not about doing a massive haircut, it's literally limping you through the lockdown period. Uh, it's of keeping those ends healthy and that's purely all what it's about. If you go in for something a little bit more, more and taking a lot off, you can get yourself into a, quite a lot of trouble and I'm sure you wouldn't trust your partner taking loads off. And if you're doing it yourself, you may pick up a little a couple of techniques. Now the main thing is those is getting those split ends because that split hair will just keep traveling up the hair shaft and that's what's going to make your hair weaker. And if you want to style your hair through this period and make your hair look nice to go down to the center aisles of Asda, then obviously you want your hair looking all glamorous as well and not all split and frayed like this. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> wash the hair and it's ready to go. Pop the hair into a center parting, starting from the forehead through the crown and then to the nape. Keep the hair as clean as possible, all the lines. So once you're taking each section through the haircut, the cleaner it is, you'll know where you start from and where you're going to. If you start fudging the lines a little bit and not taking them clean, then you'll get lost. It's very easy to get lost in this haircut. Um, and it's very important to make sure the body posture is straight. If the body is off to an angle and you cut the hair straight to come back, then that line will be at an angle. So it's very important for you and your partner to make sure you're keeping yourself in a, in a straight position. And make sure there's no bulky clothing. Um, I would suggest just using a cheap t-shirt or something that you don't mind potentially getting cut because that, that could happen. Um, so, right, I'll take the first section. If you pop your head down for me. Now, stand on the side that you've taken the section, comb the hair, and we're gonna take a center section there out to just behind you here, like so. And then we're gonna comb that down, like that. And if you have any little hair grips, that will help, just to get the hair out of the way. Right, so once you've taken your section, you want to just very loosely section the hair like so. So you're left with just one piece in the middle, bring it down, and then cut through. And the way you hold your scissors, it should be a thumb in here, and this thing go through this hole. Most people obviously you are used to using scissors like this. And it's definitely not a way to hold scissors when you're cutting, but just try your best. Then bring your next section in. Now I'm not using lots of tension when I'm cutting. I'm going to bring it down as loose as I can across. Just double check it. You can see, in actual fact, that's just a little bit higher on that side. I'm just going to take a little bit off there. There. So once you've got your first line in, the rest of it is going to be a plain sailing. But very important not to take big sections. So then drop your next section down once you've done that. Ensure that it is wet. You don't want any hair to dry. If you've got the hair underneath drier than the hair on the top, that's not good. So make sure it's wet all the way through. You don't want any hair springing about. So again, just take centre section. Head slightly down, perfect. 
break down those tension and cut that first section there. And then the second section, you'll be able to see your guide from underneath and cut across. So once you've sectioned the hair for the next bit, you should really, this is what you should be seeing each time. Through there, you can see your guide line through the hair. If you take too much hair down, then it will just look dark and you will not see your guide line. That's why you want to do small sections so you have to see your guide line each time. Very important. Make sure the head's in the right position. Comb and always comb from the root. If you're not coming from right from the root, you're going to have some hairs that are knotted up and you're going to miss some little bits. So again, nice loose tension. And just cut that through there. When the hair's wet, the hair can stretch. I definitely don't want to be pulling too hard on it. I can see my guide under there. So once you've dropped your next section down, you're going to see this. The middle bit will start to run out because the hair has layers. So the sides will always have a bit more length to cut. So if you run out that bit, then that's great. You just need to cut, chop the sides. So just bring that down. Again, don't rush it. Move a bit out of the way. On the side, through your comb. See your guide, 
and cut. Do not correct your guide. If your guide's there, it's there for a reason. As long as you're combing the hair from the roots down, then it will be okay. So once you've reached the crown and you've gone to the back of the ear, then you want to take sections straight down from the parting until you reach the front hairline. And when you comb the hair, just let the hair comb down as much as you can to how the hair naturally wants to fall, not dragging it back. And just let the hair lay down nice and loose and again, with this hair, and his hair now, we're only really cutting the very sides because there's nothing in the center. If we start pulling it all back, then some of that hair that should be cut at the side will then be cut in the center. So it should really, if you've lost hair, haven't got hair, any hair in the middle on your last previous sections, then it should be the same. And just let that hair just come down naturally and just encourage it to fall to the back. So once you've cut the back, you move to the sides and take another section from the crown to the tip of the ear. You do not cut the hair on the sides of the back. If you cut the hair here, then what's going to happen is you're going to end up with a point at the back. So you do not want to cut your corner off. So it's very important when you're cutting the sides of the hair, you never breach past the back of the ear. So if I just hold that in my hands, my fingers, and I can see that is my guide, the point of my fingers there. Anything gets longer from there, that's why I want to cut off. And that's it. So once you've cut both sides and you've checked the balance of the hair as you're going along, just very loosely touching your fingers. If you feel that there is out, then obviously you need to take some more off on one side. Sometimes it might just be how it's combed. So be very careful, make sure you keep things really clean and simple and everything else will, will fall into place. Once you've blow dried your hair, you then want to just check the bottom for any graduation and make sure it's all level. So making sure your partner is straight, head down and just comb the hair with the wide tooth part of the comb and have a look to see if there are any loose bits. And I'm going to use the camera a bit of my mirror there as well. And that is all pretty good. I think it's a little bit there. Let me just I wanted to soften up the line. There are ways to texture, but to be honest with you, I would leave it like that through lockdown until you see your your hairdresser. I wouldn't take any further. If you did would be point cutting into it but that's when things can easily get a little bit messy so I would suggest leaving it as that. Right. How's that looking? Yeah? 